Ah, Shalom, first and foremost, I also want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. And of course, I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. <coughs> In the sincere hopes that we may edify and feed the flock and the lambs of Yahweh Shai. Alright, and um, and we definitely are in the last days. Hey, and one of my favorite scriptures I like to quote is Romans 13 and 11, which says that now it's high time to awake out of sleep. Right? And that knowing the time that now it's high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer than when we believed, Arkim. Alright, our salvation is close, man It's close Alright, look what's going on in the world, man Look at the food shortages Over here in the UK, they're rationing food Okay The time when you talk about rationing When the word rationing pops up they usually That word usually pops up during a time of war So we're not in a time of peace We're in a time of war Alright, you've got all these pestilences floating around Over here in the UK They're talking about this strep infection Which is affecting like I've been hearing about a lot of youngsters being affected by it. Apparently, eight people have died so far of this strep infection. Um, you had the uh, the first wave, the second wave. Now they're talking about how people over here in the UK supposedly are desiring lockdowns. You know, even though that people ain't even trying to shop as much as they they were in the past. Um, you know, and these these shopping these shopping streets are less busier than they ever have been. You know, people ain't got the money like they used to have. But you see, you know, they're pretty much putting that in the headlines, you know, to control the minds of the people. It's called predictive programming, man. All right? They're pretty much getting the people used to, you know, voluntarily, all right, putting themselves uh, and giving up their freedoms to the government. All right? And ultimately, you know, Esau's going to come through with that martial law, all right? Using the same formula that he likes to use, which is auto FKO. Okay, because when people can't feed their families and they start going buck wild and they start robbing each other, people start setting up factions and start killing each other, murdering each other. You know, that's when it's gonna get so chaotic, like a purge. Alright, that's when all hell's gonna break loose. And don't forget about that thing in Illinois where, you know, pretty much them criminals are gonna be let out of them prison systems. Alright? So it's going to be like the purge over there in Illinois, all right? The, the, the things that are happening in China, right? What's coming? What's happening in China is coming over here soon. You see how they've got the people rolling around in hazmat suits over there in China. Man, that looks like Songbird come to life. Remember that movie Songbird? All right, that movie Songbird showed you that they had to, um, they had to scan their temperatures every morning and that and whatever. And if their temperature was off, then the guys with the suits would come around and drag you out of your homes, you know, your tower blocks or whatever. And then put you put you in a detention center. So things are getting heated, man. All right. Remember, the scripture says that they're going to be like madmen. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, man. So, hey, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. All right. Jacob's trouble is definitely coming because they're going to enforce, you know, or they're going to deceive people into taking the the chip, you know, the M O T to the B. All right. And if you don't take it, then, then you're just going to be, you know, you're going to be an undesirable within his society. And they're going to do away with you, man. All right? They're going to do it in this, this spirit, man. As I said, that, I just I just drove over some roadkill, man. Like a dead fox. His, his guts was all splattered all over the ground. But, you know, that's what's going to happen. You know, you're going to be an undesirable and they're just going to do away with you, man. Off with your head. Right? The scripture says, and I saw the souls of them that would be headed for the witness and a testimony of Yahweh Shai, which what is the testimony of Yahweh Shai? Revelation 19 and 10. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So when you got the spirit of prophecy and you, you got the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is that spirit of prophecy, the Lord said, What speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy? The word prophesy means to say before. And what are we prophesying about? The downfall of Esau's kingdom. That Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning, beginning of it that, that followeth. Right, and in order for you to prophesy, you have to know the secrets of the Most High, man. All right, the Lord said in Amos 3 and 7, the Lord shall do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And one of the secrets, right, of the prophecies is what? 
what the MOT to the B is, what Revelation 13 and 16 is. All right, and we are in no, we're in, the, we're in no doubts about that, man. All right, you got other guys marching around in purple suits calling upon Jesus the Christ. It's a gimmick, man. All right, but ultimately, hey, the deceived and the deceiver it is the Heavenly Father wants them to do what they're doing. Okay, because ultimately, man, this is only about the elect. And if you ain't of the elect, you're going to be doing some, some off shit, man. Right, until the missiles come, until the chariots come. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back with them so-called UFOs, man. He's about to ride up in here upon that swift cloud. Right? And the so-called flying saucers or UFOs are known as what? A wheel within a wheel, flying roll, a, 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 a cloud, right? A chariot. But that's what they are. And that's how the Lord is coming back. And he's coming back with fire. Read Isaiah 66 and 15. And recently, man, I can't stop talking about this prophecy. I can't stop talking about the return of Yahweh Shai and them angels, man. I can't stop talking about how he's going to decimate this place. Right? He's going to shake the fuck out of this place. He's going to bring these, bring Esau and his kingdom to his knees. These nations into their knees. Right? The wicked of our people. He's going to destroy them. Luke 19 to 27 says what? Those would not, my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Now that's in the Bible. That's in the New Testament. That's in the New Testament. And you know what else is in the New Testament, man? I did a video on this yesterday. Revelation 2 and 26. Right? Or 25 on down. Right? But he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. No such thing as equality. The Lord said power over the nations he will give us, man, if we overcome and endure unto the end. Okay? So that's in the scriptures too. Why you got the heathen imagining a vain thing, thinking that they're going to be the next to rule on the earth. The Chinese and that. Get out of here, bro. Take a fucking seat. Okay? You ain't going to be the next to be in rulership. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. That's what the prophecy, prophecy states. And Esau don't like what we're saying, man. All right? That's why, hey, the scriptures speak about great fear fell upon them with sword of man. Read Revelation 11 and 11 on down. And after three days and a half, the spirit of, the, of life entered into them and they stood upon their feet. Right? An exceeding great army, loosely paraphrasing, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Like loosely paraphrasing, the scripture goes into that and to, to tie into that is Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, man. Okay? And you know the scripture say that the righteous are as bold as a lion. So you know that the, the righteous, starting with the elect, the, the uh, um, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down, hey, you know that they're coming bold, man. All right, we ain't shying from the prophecies of this book, man. All right, the Lord said, woe be unto us if we preach not the gospel. We don't want to be destroyed. That's why we've got to give you warning, man. Right? The little scripture say in um, Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman, you know, uh, uh, unto the uh, house of Israel. Give them warning from me. Right? So we're supposed to give you warning, man. All right? Another one that comes to mind is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet And show my people their transgression And the house of Jacob their sins Alright, so we're supposed to, you know, shine that light We're supposed to shine the light on Jake's dark deeds Right, let you know that your do as thou wilt spirit is off Right, you doing what you want, eating what you want Committing adultery, okay Getting up to all kinds of wickedness Getting up to things that are condemned in the scriptures Okay, we're supposed to show you that that's the wrong way of living, man. We're supposed to show you that that's not right. Right? Because then if we don't, then your blood, right, will be required at our hands. Okay? So we got to, we got to warn the people. Okay? Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, just like the scripture says, right? And that's why, man, hey, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Because all you wicked-ass Israelites, man, that haven't received the gift of faith. And man, that's, that's important. The gift of faith is very important. What's that? Um, Hebrews 11 and 6 says what? Well, but, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Now, you best you best believe that Jake... Ooh, eh, look, man. All you Jakes out here, you're going to want to ha have pleased the Lord once you see 
the very nature in which he's coming back. Because the scripture says he's going to come back with power and great glory, man. All right? You're going to want to be on his side when he comes back. But guess what? It's going to be too late. Okay? You're going to want to have pleased the Lord when he comes back. Because when he comes back, he ain't coming back smiling, man. All right? The scripture says he's going to cry like a travailing woman and that he's going to destroy and devour at once. That's how Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right? The scripture says, he so, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him also will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. That is, that's pleasing the Lord, man. And that's faith. And we're showing our faith by our works. We don't boast in our works, but we're showing our faith by our works, man. Okay? We're, we're, we're showing it by our works. Okay? And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is confessing us before the Father in heaven, man. Yahweh. Okay, because we're confessing him before men we're, we're actually calling upon his name We ain't calling upon no other gods We ain't calling upon no false idols No, we're giving all praises, honor and glory To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash, man That's what we're doing That's what we're supposed to be doing What's the whole duty of an Israelite man? Ecclesiastes 12 and, thir Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 But this is the whole duty of man that we fear the most high and keep his commandments. Okay, excuse me. So that's the whole duty of man, right? <laughs> excuse me. Alright, so that's what we're supposed to be doing. Alright? And we're not supposed to be giving him no rest in the process. Alright, so, uh, so uh, Isaiah 62 and 6 says, Ye that make mention of the Lord. No, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. Right? Keep not silence. Alright, in fact, let me get it, because I don't want to butcher the scripture. Isaiah 62 and 6. I know it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence till he make Jerusalem <laughs> a praise and a faith in the uh, a praise in the earth till we establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth and we're not a praise in the earth right now okay we're looked down upon by these even nations like I, I mentioned in the video yesterday Jeremiah 5, uh, 15 and 5 but well, who shall bemoan thee J talking about you Jerusalem you or Israel who shall who shall go aside to ask how thou doest these even nations look down on us man they don't care about us okay they think that they're better than us, and that's, the, that's their pride. But guess what? <laughs> they're all going into slavery, man. <laughs> How about that? Every one of them. Hey, the scripture says um, um, in Jeremiah 30 and 16, but all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, man. And they, they that spoil thee will I give for a spoil. They that pray, all they that prayed upon thee will I give for a prey. And you know why? Because you don't fuck with the apple of the Lord's eye, man. We're the chosen people of the Lord. So you don't messed up. Okay, all you heathen nations, you done messed up, especially you, Esau. You done fucked up, bro. Okay, and, and you're gonna get Obadiah 118. Okay, you're gonna be, hey man, <laughs> you're gonna be burnt up. Okay, so yeah, hey, th hey, th these prophecies, man, that's what we're coming with. And see, Esau, he's getting shook, man. Okay, and that's why I was, I was quoting it earlier. A great fear fell upon them with saw them because Esau is shook at the message that we're coming with. They know that they've done wrong, bro. Okay? Their children shall seek to please the poor. Every now and again you see the, you see them going over to you know Africa and helping the poor and you see that's the that's their that's their way of giving back. You know, giving back to the community and all of that. But guess what? It's too late. Right? Read Isaiah 14 and 21, which we in Africa we in Africans by the way. Now, do you have our people that were scattered among them, Hamites? Yes. All right. Hey, the scriptures speak about the, um, you know, uh, 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 the time of 70 AD. The Lord said, well, flee ye into the mountains. 70 AD, man. All right. The, the, the diaspora. When you type in diaspora in Google, it will come up with what? The, the Jews, right? The real Jews, the so-called blacks, right? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right? That, that pretty much fled into the interiors into the interiors of Africa, man, and different parts of the earth. Okay? During the time of what? Roman persecution. Okay? 
under what General Vespasian and his son Titus, man. All right, and to this day, you still got something called the Ark of Titus, where they commemorate and they, they put carvings in of them spoiling our temple, man, and taking out our, our, our gold and our vessels, right? And all throughout the all throughout the earth, you've got like um, uh, 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 like ancient like monuments, right, commemorating the, the the downfall of the Jews during that time period. Even over here, down there, Buckingham Palace, you got you got a, a mock archetypus, man, and you got them all over the place. And why do you think that you have that? Because Esau knows, man. He knows that they took us down. Okay, but guess what? It was set up for you to take us down. Daniel four and seventeen. Right? The most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giving it giveth it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men. So hey, Esau is known as the basis of men. And we're in a time now where the power of the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, Job 9:24. But guess what? The reign of the wicked is coming to an end. Okay, and as we tell our people that, that should make them want to do backflips, man. Letting them know that the reign of our wicked, the, the reign of the wickedness is coming to an end, right? Yeah, how is is about to change our vile bodies, man? Okay, he's about to put the laws on our inward parts, man. New covenant style, all right? Hebrews eight and six on down. Read that scripture, all right? And I was reading through some notes yesterday that I had written down, right? And I was reading through uh, there's a scripture in Jeremiah, and it's a bad scripture, man. Jeremiah fifty and twenty. I'm going to read it for you I'm going to read it for you Okay, excuse me, bear with me because I'm driving Right, it says Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 20 It says, in those days And in that time Right, talking about a future prophecy, man Not right now, in a future prophecy That's that's yet to take place It says, say of the Lord The iniquity of Israel Shall be sought for Right and there shall be none. All right, and that ain't talking about now because you see Israel is wicked as hell, man. Okay, you got Israelites out here that are wicked as hell doing all kinds of shit. Like, and especially during this time period, Christmas period, where there's nothing but orgy parties going on, adultery is being committed. Okay, everything's, everything's upside down right now, man. Okay, and why do you think that is? Because you got the, the wicked of our people, right? They're following after the ways of the wicked. Okay, and the scripture says, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Right, the wicked of our people, right, the scripture says, look, learn not the way of the heathen. But you see, our people love it so they they love to trim their ways to seek love, and they seek love from the wicked man. They're under that wicked spell, that wicked ass vibration. The scripture says, um, what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Right, that's in um, Sirach 10 and, and, and 2. Okay, it says. But the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for And there shall be none So we ain't living in that time right now That's a future prophecy that's about to take place And the sins of Judah And what's sin? Sin is the transgression of the law 1 John 3 and 4 Right? And what's the wages of sin? The wages of sin is death Right? So if, if the new covenant states that we ain't gonna sin anymore And we're gonna have the laws on our inward parts Then what does that mean? That we're gonna be immortal Because we, we ain't gonna die because we ain't gonna sin Right? So we're gonna we're, hey, we're laying a hold of immortality through this word. That's why the scripture says in John six and sixty three, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. These words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. Okay, because you live after the ways of the flesh. That's the ways of death. The ways of the flesh, right? Just do as thou wilt, doing what the fuck you want to do, right? Be a sodomite. Right? A, a man can lay down with another man Spreading disease all over the place This place is all out of whack man So the Lord is bringing that to an end Okay The Lord said that I am coming that they might have life And that they might have it more abundantly man Okay Laying a hold of this word That's the way That's These are the words of life man It says It says And the sins of Judah And they shall not be found For I will pardon them whom I reserve, man. Right? And you know what presupposes with that? Isaiah 1 and 9. Right? Let me get that scripture. Isaiah 1 and 9. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. Right? 
Now listen to this scripture. Except the Lord of hosts, which the Lord of hosts means what? The Lord of the armies. Let me say it right. Except the Lord, Yehawah Hashem, Yehawah Shai, of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant. Right? So like, let me just turn off this motorway. And that's another thing. These motorways, man, these turnoffs, there's going to come a time where there's going to be checkpoints, man. You ain't going to be able to turn off, right, and, 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 on a motorway and go and go to another town, another city, because there's going to be army, military out here locking things up. Oh, you think we're lying? You best wait, man. You just wait until that time comes. And they're walking around, they, you know, they got these big ass jeeps, these big ass trucks, and they're standing out there with their fucking big ass guns, and they're pointing it at your car, telling you to stop your vehicle and get out your car, you know, and ordering you to show to show them if you've been, you know, if you've been uh, 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 C-hipped up or not. And if you ain't got the c hip they're gonna just put you in their van and gonna transport you to a camp, a concentration camp, man. Right? Whether it's a stadium or a fucking old factory or whatever, and they ain't gonna care how wrapped up warm you are. And it could happen this winter, hey. This, hey, they keep talking about a dark winter, all right? They keep talking. Biden mentioned a dark winter twice in his campaign when he was running for president, man. All right. But let's go back to Isaiah one and nine. They say, "It said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts." Had left unto us a very small remnant We should have been as Sodom And we should have been like unto Gomorrah So that small remnant is what the Lord is looking for Remember the scripture says Many are called, few are chosen Okay <laughs> So the Lord is looking for that That few And that's who Yahweh Shai is coming back to save In these last days A small remnant Okay a few remaining When you go into that word remnant I, be, I believe it goes into what? Survivors man Alright The scripture says that The righteous shall scarcely be saved Okay So it's going to seem like Even the elect ain't going to make it But they are going to be saved Because it's written for them to make it Alright But that's the fear of the Lord you See that's why the scripture says Knowing therefore the terrors of the Lord Do we persuade men Okay The scripture says the fear of the Lord Is the beginning of knowledge man Okay But fools despise it Okay Wisdom and instruction loosely paraphrasing. Alright? So hey, we gotta lay a hold of this this truth, man. The scripture says in Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Alright? There's no excuse. Now your favorite rappers, your A-list celebrities are coming out and telling you that you are the children of Israel. Right? Which we didn't need them to, to come out and say that, but hey, at the end of the day, hey, there's no cloak for, for the sins of Israel now. Because it's all out on front street. Alright, everyone's heard about this, you know, oh, marching around the Barclays Center, what IUIC done did, okay, over in response to Kyrie Irving's comments and that, that was all over the news, alright, and I remember even years ago, back going back to the Jersey shooting, right by that synagogue, you had the, um, the, the guy that was out there in the garments on bug out, which that could have been an Asian provocateur, man, you know, that could have been Esau that set that up, but he, I remember when they was talking about it, they had, um, a placard, Shown on, 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 I can't remember if it was CNBC or CNN, one of them major uh, news media platforms that, sh that actually displayed the name of the Lord. And it was written in red, Yahweh Shai is coming, man. Right? I, I remember, I'll never forget when I saw that. So the name of the Lord is out there. Okay? The name of Yahweh Shai is being magnified, Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, man. So we are definitely approaching the time of the end. This truth is out there, man. Alright, and why did I say we don't need these celebrities to say that? Because the apostles and the elders on down have been teaching this word, been out there on the highways and the byways. And they've always said that the, all these celebrities know about us, man. Alright? Because guess what? You can't ignore the prophets. They're out there on the streets. That's why the Lord told us, go out there to the highways and the hedges. Okay? The Lord told us about what? This, this is known as what? The foolishness of preaching, man. Okay? But guess what? It's not in vain. As we're prophesying unto the wind, it's not in vain. The Lord said, um, in this gospel of the kingdom, Matthew 24 and 14, shall be preached throughout all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this truth, right, this work is not in vain. All right, and this is not our rest. So we gotta, we got to work the work of him that sent us while it is day, because the night cometh when no man can work. we got to make full proof of our ministry. we got to occupy till the Lord comes, man. Okay, the word occupy... In the Greek is pragmatomai, which means to maintain the business of the Lord. Right? Just like Yahweh Shai was about the will of his father, man. 
okay? My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. That's the mindset of Yahweh Shai. So what mindset are we supposed to have, man? The scripture says Mark the perfect man. So we're supposed to be looking at Yahweh Shai. What was Yahweh Shai doing? What would Yahweh Shai do if he was on earth right now? Right? Hey, Yahweh Shai would be, would, would be preaching, man. And guess what? He wouldn't be liked, right, by certain Israelite camps. Because guess what? He's going to be cutting these camps, right? He will be defending the gospel, man. Okay, the good news. Because look what they did to Yahweh Shai back 2000, over 2,000 years ago, man. Which his name ain't, they weren't calling upon Jesus back then either. His name is Yahweh Shai. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Yahweh, Judah. Okay? There was no letter J back then, okay? He's a Hebrew Israelite. What, what language did he speak to, to the Apostle Paul in when he knocked him off the horse? Back then when he was known as Saul. Right? He spoke to him in a Hebrew tongue. Right? So the Lord is a Hebrew Israelite, bro. From the tribe of Judah. And he has a Hebrew name. And that name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And we got to magnify the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Especially in these last days, man. Confess those names before men. Okay? Make mention that those names are exalted, like it says in Isaiah 12 and 5, I believe. Or 12 and 4. Okay? So anyway, with that, man, I pray you were edified. You know, I'm on my way to work right now. I just wanted to throw some words, so some of my thoughts onto the camera for the morning, man. Just to just to start the day. Start the day right, you know? And Lord willing, I could do that more through the spirit, man. Just 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 flip on the camera and just and just preach the gospel, man. Because hey, woe be unto us if we preach not the gospel. Woe means destruction, man. You know? You know, hey, if if you know this truth and you lay you lay this this truth in a napkin, man. You know, you're going to be destroyed for that. You know? And I ain't trying to be destroyed, man. I want to be saved. I want to be saved, man. Yahweh Shimi, I was shy. Right, Zah. I want to be saved. You know? I want the Lord to look upon me when he comes back and just beam me up into that ship. That father ship, man. You know, like it says in 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, to meet the Lord in the air, in the cloud, in the clouds, in the air, with the, meet the Lord in the, in the air, in the cloud, man. Okay? Because the Lord is going to come back with power and great glory. And I want to be on, on his side. I want to be on the right side, man. I don't want to be on the wrong side. Okay? And that's the fear of the Lord, man. There's nothing wrong with fear in Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, bro. Because, hey, everyone's going to know that every knee shall, con shall confess. And every tongue every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow when Yahweh Shai comes back anyway. We're, hey, we're, we're, hey, we're confessing and we're bowing in, in advance. You know? That's the fear of the Lord. All right? So with that, man, I pray you were uplifted and edified with this. Hey, there's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on. Hey, hey measure the time diligently. We've got to know what time we're in. We've got to pray to Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. And we've got to stay meditating on, a, on this word, man. All right, uh, Surah 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, right, and occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies Loosely paraphrasing Occupied in prophecies man Right Which the word prophecy means To say before man Alright So we gotta be occupied in this Constantly meditating Seeking out the wisdom of the ancient The scripture says in Romans 15 and 4 um, For whatsoever things were written aforetime Were written for our learning That we through patient and comfort of the scriptures Might have hope The word patient means to suffer that's why the scripture says, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Yeah, we're, we're suffering right now, but the Lord is going to give us rest. That suffering is going to come to an end real soon, man. All right, the Lord's coming to wipe away all tears from our eyes, right? So just hold on, man. Just hold on, Arkim, you know? Hold on, Yahweh Shaiah, the suffering's going to come to an end. Yeah, we're at the bottom right now, but guess what? It's a necessary evil because we had to experience going off. We had to experience... what? What's this demon doing? We had to experience... You know, going off to appreciate the time of righteousness and eternity of righteousness in the kingdom, man. We had to know both sides, okay? So it was all set up. This this is the this is the heavenly Father's movie. It was set up this way, man. So appreciate the patience, man. Appreciate the sufferings, right? The Lord said, "As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent." I just wanted to say that to close out with, man. So with that, man, I pray you were edified, man, and uplifted with this video. Right, the scripture says Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples, right, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we through much tribulation enter into the kingdom.
right? Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So this is about much tribulation, man. So it's a it's a rite of passage, if you will, man. Okay, it's a necessary evil, if you will. The Heavenly Father's movie, man. So let's stay up, stay strong, and stay prayed up. Shalom.